Hello everyone, I am John Louis. Today I am going to teach you about verification of a multiplication. So this method is called digit sum method. So let us take some example. So 274 multiplied by 95. We do the calculation quickly. So if you sum up this. Okay, now whether this answer is right or wrong, how to verify? What we need to do is first put a multiplication mark. So what is the meaning of digit sum method? So we have to sum up the digits present in multiplicand, multiplier and in the final answer we got. So now let us do one by one. So we take the multiplicand that is 2 plus 7 plus 4. So that is equal to 13. This is a double digit number. Therefore you re-add again until you get a single digit number. So that is 4. So put that 4 on top of the multiplication mark. Next you sum up the multiplier. So 9 plus 5 is 13. Sorry 14. 9 plus 5 is 14. That is equal to 1 plus 4. That is equal to 5. Put that number down. Now we need to multiply these two numbers 4 and 5. So to remember this only we are using this multiplication mark to verify. So 4 times 5 is 20. Now this is a double digit number so you sum up the digits present in this answer. So 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. That you have to put it on the left hand side of the multiplication mark. Finally we have to sum up the final answer what we got in that multiplication. So 2 plus 6 plus 0 plus 3 plus 0 is equal to so 8, 8 plus 3 is 11. Again we have to add 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2. You put the 2 on the right hand side of your multiplication mark. Now you cross check your left hand side and right hand side. If these two numbers are same, if left hand side is equal to right hand side, our answer is correct. If not, our answer is wrong. So in this case, we have got the same number 2 and 2. Therefore, our answer is perfectly correct. So this can be speeded up by adding another rule that is called digit sum method plus cost of 9. See for example, let us take 813 multiplied by 9, 4. Now let us do this calculation faster. Okay, so now we have to verify. So what is meant by cast out 9? So before summing up the digits, we can cross out any, if any number is 9, we can cross it out. Or any group of numbers summing up to 9, we can cross them together. For example, in 8, 1, 3, there is no 9. But 8 plus 1 is 9. Therefore, we can cross out this number. And then we can add only the remaining number. Therefore, here we get only 3. And in the second case also, there is 9. So, leave out that. We have got only 4. So, that you take. Okay, now multiply 3 and 4. You get 12. So, 1 plus 2 is 3. So, we are getting 12 that is equal to 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So that you put on the left hand side. Now we have to sum up the final answer. Here also if any number is 9 or any group of numbers summing up to 9 we can cancel it out. In this case here 7 plus 2 9. So we can leave it out. We can sum up only the remaining digits. 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So that you have to put it on the right hand side. So now we have to cross check the left hand side and right hand side number. So these two numbers are same, left hand side and this is right hand side. Both the numbers are 3, same. So both the numbers are same, therefore our answer is correct. So this is how a multiplication can be verified very quickly by using digit sum method along with cost out 9 rule. Thank you very much for watching this video.